This is a very easy card trick that you can perform with your, uh, for your friends with just an ordinary deck of cards. And here's how it looks. Now I have to be kind of quiet because uh, my cat Kobe's sleeping. Um, that's actually her favorite part of the futon there. Um, so here's how the effect goes. We're going to use two cards. We're going to use the three, uh, the red three and the black eight. And we put those into the pack, just somewhere in the middle. And this is kind of neat. When I snap the fingers and I give the cards a little toss, we can pull those cards, the three and the eight, back out of the deck. That's the card trick. That's all you have to do. It's a very easy trick. I'm going to explain that for you now. So um, let's roll the explanation. So here's the explanation for the two card trick. What you need is the three of diamonds, the eight of spades, the three of hearts, and the eight of clubs. Now in this case, we'll take the three of hearts, we're going to put it on the bottom, the eight of clubs, put it face down on top, and we leave the, the three of diamonds and the eight of spades on top face up. Or they can be in your pocket, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can even leave them in the pack and remove them later. But what you need to do is have the black eight on top, the red three on the bottom, and then this black eight and this red three available or handy. What you're going to do, you say, look, we're going to do a trick with two cards, a black eight and a red three. Um, or you just say, we're going to do a trick with two cards. The one thing you don't want to do is say, we're going to do a trick with the three of diamonds and the eight of spades. Because in a moment when we reproduce these, it's actually going to be the three of hearts and the eight of clubs. That's the secret. That's how this trick works. Uh, so what you do is you take the black eight and the red three. You say, check this out. We're going to lose the eight in the deck and the three in the deck. Um, and we'll square everything up. When I snap the fingers and give the deck a toss, you're going to throw the deck over to your hand. I can pluck the two cards out of the middle of the pack, the three and the eight. And that's all there is. That's the effect. Um, it's the eight of clubs and the three of hearts that you produce at the end, so it's not the same cards, but it's a red three and a black eight, so it looks the same. And most people, that'll fly right by them. So don't worry about it. Don't stress out about it too much. You might get caught once in a while, uh, but here's how you actually pluck the cards out of the pack. The eight is on top, the three is on the bottom, and it's very easy to do. Uh, the natural friction in your fingertips is actually going to make this effect work. You hold the deck between the thumb and fingers in your right hand and you're going to throw the deck over here to your left hand where your left hand is going to catch it like this. The top card and the bottom card actually naturally want to stick to your fingers. So you don't squeeze the deck too hard but you don't hold it too light either. You just toss and stop so like this and the top card and the bottom card as you can see stuck to my fingers. There's a little bit of sweat on my fingers so it helped it stick even more. Um, but that's the effect, or that's how to do that secret tossing move like this, and you show the three and the eight. Um, so again, to wrap it up, uh, we'll do it one more time. So you find the eight of spades and the three of diamonds, and we'll set the three of hearts on top, the three of or eight of clubs on bottom. You show the two cards. You say, watch this. We'll take the three and the eight. We'll lose them in the center of the deck, somewhere in the middle. All I do is snap the fingers, give a toss, and I can pluck them right out of the center of the deck, the three and the eight. That's all there is to it. So give it a little bit of practice. I think you can do that one pretty easy within the next probably 30 minutes. All you need is a regular deck, and um, I hope you have fun with it, and I can't wait to see you again. Have a great day.